here we are out for a socially distanced walk on a socially distanced day in a socially distanced place. And this is a park that's near my house that I like coming to. It's uh, relaxing and a chance to get away from constantly seeing uh, like concrete and things like that. So I thought maybe for those who can't get out for whatever reason, then I'd kind of take you out with me. So just sort of enjoy and look and I'll pan the camera around and don't mind the breeze there in case it muffles the sound a bit. So this is for you. still frozen over. It's been chilly. It's been peaceful. And there you are. Hope you uh, enjoyed coming on this little stroll with me. And because I'm feeling a bit ambitious, I thought, well, I'll shoot another clip anyway, just for you guys to walk with me. So here we are, we're going across the ground and making our way back onto the path. I don't like going for walks. I've gone it's always, since always, since a teenager at least. Even when it was like the, called the uncool thing to do at the time, at that age, you know, I still enjoyed going for my walks. And I think it came from when I had a paper out. I got it when I was nine years old and, and that's a walking job. So I'd spend my mornings walking, you know, into houses and things. And while I was doing that, I'd be fantasizing of basically the, the Axiomand saga, what became the storyline for that. So that's like a good storyline I've had in my head since uh, I was a kid. Here's a, here's a lake again. Or, I don't even know if you could call it a lake. Whatever, it's marsh, something, whatever. It's there, it's water. And uh, seagulls and things come, it's better. And, like ducks, stuff like that. You know, I've always had a soft spot for fall season or even early spring like this. Just something about I don't know, it's probably some childhood memory tied into it where there was like a cozy warmth to it. I don't I don't know why, because everything looks so, you know, dead and decayed, but there's something about it. There's that tree. I don't know. Maybe maybe you can relate. You know, put something in the comments. But yeah, let's see, that's a good lake. Or marsh or what the whatever the hell it's called. Yeah. Let's let's go back on the path. Now it's good to get out though with all that's going on. It's pretty uh, disconcerting on on lots of fronts the things that are happening. But I've been finding that you know doing things like these walks have been really helpful and uh, calming and a chance to sort both stuff that's going on in the world and stuff that's going on inside oneself and you know good stuff bad stuff every stuff you know so there's this other sort of marshy area here uh, it's pretty cool so, anyway I'll tell a quick story and then I'll uh, close her down when I was a kid these um, marshy areas there's one by my parents' house, and I'd used to go there with a friend, and it was a pretty wide gulf between um, the banks across this creek, about maybe, I don't know, six feet or so. 
And so we take turns jumping across from one giant pile of grass to another. And of course, you don't always make the jump and you wind up with a, a booter, as we call them, when you get your boot full of uh, water. So you got that one going on. And the other one, of course, was, was fun, was walking along that same creek. Um, and then you're walking along where the ice is. And the thing is, the ice was kind of strong in places, weak in others. So every so often, you know, after you're trying to find proper footing, your foot would go through and it was sort of like your, the idea was to see how long you could last without sinking or breaking through, you know, so yeah, those were good times. Those guys are okay these days. But anyway, here we are, back at the lake, marsh, whatever. Alright, stay safe everybody. Stay safe.